a customer want to implement redundant bgb design to improve the network stability explain different options available and their pros and cons right so basically here we are talking about like different options that we have in bgp from the design point of view so first and the most common deployment that we have is referred to as the single home design in the single home design basically where we have one let's say for example router at the customer end and the other router at the provider end like where we have like only one router one link between single homing single homing connection between like customer and provider like this kind of uh, deployment is what we are going to refer to as the single homing design so customer has a single connection to the provider that is what we refer to as the single home we can add like one more link here like uh, one more cable can be connected for the redundancy purpose but then it is going to be a different design so here like single homing design is going to look something like that now the advantage of this design like this is one option that they can implement the advantage of this uh, design is that it is very simple it is very like easy to implement and handle actually that is the advantage of this design and the disadvantage of this design is that there's no redundancy so if this link goes down then the entire connection is going to be down from the customer and provider point of view more importantly this is not a very common deployment that we see because here uh, like uh, in this situation since we have only one link see we use bgp typically when we are concerned with the routing policy typically when we want to uh, send the traffic from one path receive the traffic from another path basically when we want to do some sort of traffic engineering or so uh, then generally we concern about the we, then we generally we use this border gate protocol bgp protocol now here since we only have one link between the provider and customer what you could have done just the default route here and uh, that default route that we have configured pointing towards the neighbor router uh, i can either use the command such as default information originate or some way uh, you, you can use some way to flood that default route in the customer environment the point is that uh, instead of using bgp between this router and router 2 between this customer and provider since there is only one link we will not be able to do any path manipulation path influence or anything so it it actually doesn't make any sense to configure like border gate protocol between the devices here just the default route maybe just netting here configure net like advertise the default route in the internal network that 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 will be sufficient right so easy to implement easy to maintain but uh, redundancy is not going to be there that is a problem second design that we have is called uh, dual home in the dual home design what we have we have multiple connections we have multiple connections from the customer to the provider side right so in the dual home connection dual home connection looks uh, from the design point of view the dual home connection is going to uh look something like that like here we are going to have in the dual homed connection in the dual homed connection we are going to have like uh, one isp here we have dual routers and here in the customer side we can have like one or two routers the key point here in the dual homing is that you are still connected to the single isp multiple links can be there multiple links can be there but still like we are connected to a single isp in the dual home design that we have here the, uh, dual home design we have we get the advantage of redundancy so if this link goes down this link can be used if this link goes down then this link can be used so in the dual home we can first of all the advantage that we get is the redundancy we get the redundancy between the customer and the provider router between the customer and the provider network that is the advantage second we can achieve like uh, either load balancing where the entire traffic can be load balanced between two router or we can go for like one link as the active and one link as the standby link we can uh, we can use variety of bgp path attribute to control like this link is going to be used to send the traffic and this link is going to be used to receive the traffic so some sort of you know active and standby redundancy can be there or we can use both of the link to send the traffic 
and receive the traffic as well. So that is going to be like uh, uh, advantage. We have great redundancy here. Like uh, the problem that we are having here, the, the disadvantage, the cons that we have here is that uh, it is comparatively going to be like complex to manage, understand, comparatively complex mm -hmm. to implement also as compared to the single homing design. It is it is complex. It is com uh, complex to handle and manage actually. Second challenge that we have, second like... Uh, problem second limitation that we have in this design is that we are still connected to the same isp so if something happens from the isp point of view not like uh, you know link point of view if something happens from the isp point of view then anyway the connections both the connections are going to go down so dual multi homes dual multi home connection adds the redundancy but it it also like you know since we are connected to the same isp on both the link if ISP goes down, then the connectivity will go down anyway. So we uh, can implement this kind of design if only one ISP is available, or we can add some redundancy by adding multiple routers as well. There are variations of this design as well, where the links can terminate on the same router on the customer at link can terminate on the other router. We can we can implement uh, as per our requirement. Third design that we have is referred to as the single multi home design so in the single multi home if they want to implement the single multi home in that case we are going to have like multi home multi home basically means like multiple isps so this is one service provider this is the second service provider this service provider that we have here router 1 router 2 here we have like at our home at our customer side we have router number 3 so this kind of design is what we are going to refer to as the single multi home design in the single multi home design we have multiple isps involved again it is going to add some redundancy in the network so which is the advantage if one link goes down then the other link is available that is the advantage it is going to be comparatively complex to manage handle that is a disadvantage if i say The advantage with this design is that we are now connected to the multiple ISP. So if something has something happens to the first ISP, still like the second ISP is available to send and receive over traffic. Again, same thing. We can send either entire traffic from like these two paths. We can send this. We can use this link to send the traffic. This link to receive the traffic. Those things we can still achieve in the single multi-homed design. Multiple ISP is there. Multiple ISPs is there. That is going to add the advantage. In this uh, in this multi homing design, we are going to have redundancy as well as some sort of high availability as well. And the best that you can go for from the design point of view is going to be dual multi homing. The dual multi homed design that we have here. In this case, what happens? Like we have two, let's say for example, router at our customer site. And we have multiple ISPs. This is like ISP number one. This is ISP number two. And here we have a router. Here we have a router. And we are connected with dual links to both the ISPs. Again, variations are there of all these topologies. So in this case, this is like kind of like we have the best redundancy and the high availability actually in here as you can see but again it is going to be complex very complex i would say to uh, configure manage implement you know all those things are going to be complex but uh, when it comes to redundancy and high availability point of view this is going to be the best design that they can go for right they can choose like one link to send the traffic one link to receive the traffic this is our active one then if this goes down, then this router will become the active. So send the traffic, receive the traffic. They can implement a variety of routing policies to influence how the traffic is sent and received in the autonomous system. Right. So the dual multi-home is going to be the best option. So to summarize, they can either go for like sing single home, not recommended for BGP, then dual home, then single multi home and then we have fourth design that we have is the dual multi home 
So this is going to be the best one. If they don't go for this, they can go for this one as well. Since multiple ISPs are there, we will have both redundancy and high availability. Dual multi-home scenario can also be used with the BGP. But remember that since we are still connected to the same ISP, if that ISP goes down due to some reason, then still the challenges you will face. So they can like go for any of these design as per their requirement.